Uh, I'm Ravindra. I work with Vasan and part of National Coalition on Natural Farming. Uh, we are all looking at natural farming as an opportunistic movement. This is the time, first time in the country, you have overwhelming uh, you know, demand for something like this. So if you look at the supermarket stores, the the shelves of organic farming products or natural farming products is increasing, non-chemical products is increasing. Consumers are demanding these things to be done. Not only the elite consumers, even people in the rural areas, you know, all the farmers produce uh, food for themselves without using chemicals. And they produce uh, food for others with using chemicals. So there's a inherent acceptance of the communities, the farmers, the agricultural laborers, wage workers in the cities, everybody is also demanding food that is safe and secure. So uh, then you look at the farmers, you, know, you also have a crisis in the farming community, primarily because the cost overruns and then the unsustainability of the uh, present um, system of agriculture loaded with chemicals. And they also want to, uh, want to move ahead with uh, safe uh, uh, farming practices. Uh, and then uh, you know, the current crisis is also about uh, loss of incomes. So farmers are not gaining, the net profits are zero with the current this thing. If you actually take the data, the, you don't know where uh, uh, profits are there in the agriculture. So agriculture is in a serious crisis and then the way ahead seems to be only uh, moving away from the current paradigm of chemical intensive agriculture to a different way of doing agriculture, which could be natural farming. So if you look at the government side, so the uh, current way of doing ag uh, uh, no, uh, agriculture spending by the government is no longer feasible. The ground revolution, a green revolution has lost its uh, rhythm. And then there's enormous uh, subsidy burden on the chemical inputs. And there's a huge fiscal crisis. And governments are realizing that it's no longer possible to sustain this kind of subsidy regimes on the agriculture inputs. So for the first time, there is a political articulation on moving away from the chemical agriculture to non-chemical, sustainable, regenerative, or natural farming modes of agriculture. And then there are government uh, no, uh, starting uh, government started programs both at the central level at the state levels. Several state governments also took this route. And now, if you ask anybody, what is the uh, way ahead? You ask the consumers, you ask the farmers, you ask the government, the way ahead, and even even you ask the economists, uh, the way ahead is not continuing with the current level of agriculture. It's about moving away from the current level of a uh, current way of uh, chemical agriculture to natural farming so the demand is there overwhelmingly in multiple sectors but unfortunately the research system is not actually responding to this public societal demand uh, from the government from the consumers from the farmers and from the ecology uh, so it is important that you know, the research system also aligns with this larger public narrative public demand and then uh, come with uh, no, not validating whether this is good, that is bad, but uh, whether uh, the whether the natural farming can um, is better than organic farming or better than chemical farming, uh, some kind of a validatory research to actually dealing with the core issues of uh, no making happen, making the natural farming happen across the country and widely uh, you know, reaching out to farmers, the geographies and all that. So uh, how, how, do, how do we make it happen? The research system has to come out with solutions. The, the, the uh, industry has to come out with solutions with uh, know how to make uh, natural farming simpler for the farmers to adopt, even for the small and marginal farmers, how, how it makes it easy for them to adapt. What are the, what are the uh, sort of engineering solutions? What are the institutional solutions? What are the economic solutions? So then the business has to come out with uh, no ways of actually uh, doing, uh, aggregating the multiple diverse products in small quantities. It's a different paradigm. So there must be a response in the business community to, to this kind of a demand. And then farmers also need to uh, see how uh, knowledge-based systems 
now the management based systems take roots in place of the easy to do chemical I mean, herbicide uh, uh, or chemical sprays. You know, that is a huge paradigm shift in all walks of life. So this paradigm shift requires a substantial shift in the mindsets and in the systems and in the architecture, in the way the programs are funded, in the, in the way agriculture is subsidized, in the way research is done. In all these walks of life, we need to have a paradigmatic shift. Then, then the, the, the demand for uh, a movement towards nature-based solutions and then uh, natural farming uh, can easily be materialized. And this is the need for uh, uh, need of the society now, need of the ecology, environment, and more so the changing climate regimes. So we need to progress towards this uh, movement.